In this video, you'll combine six different wavelengths of light to create an image of a star-forming region. Click the link above the video to see a directory of the six images used in this project. These images are the result of different types of light that come from a star-forming region in our very own galaxy. Star-forming regions are where huge gas clouds collapse under gravity to form new stars. Some stars are destined to grow up to be like our sun, but most are much smaller. Almost all of them are enshrouded in the dust and gas from which they form, which blocks out most of the light at wavelengths our eyes are attuned to, known as optical light. But the gas and dust are more transparent at infrared, or IR, light and X-ray wavelengths, which is why you see so many very, very young stars. In this example program, there are IR, or infrared, blue, and X-ray wavelengths used for the red, green, and blue colors. There is much more data that isn't in the image. Some of these images are labeled with the word shocks. A shock is when gas and dust are swept up violently, like a wave crashing on a beach. Certain wavelengths of light are created when gas and dust are shocked in these collisions. Building new images with data that trace such shocks bring out new features in the star forming region. By writing your own computer program to colorize these images, you can explore the data with the colors you choose. This can help astronomers and you understand an amazing phenomena like how stars are born. Experiment with the different images included with this starter code. See what types of images you can create. When instructed to do so by your teacher, or once you're happy with how you've colorized the image, you can move on to the final video where I will wrap up this hour of code.